Hey, Tracy Podolsky here. I am just recovering from being ill and I wanted to share my protocol because this has changed my life. Over the past six or seven years, I've been using doTERRA essential oils and really deep diving into what real health is. Prior to uh, studying with the Institute for Functional Medicine, as well as doTERRA, I would basically just lay down, drink soup, or eat soup and drink water and just wait for my body to recover. And our bodies were designed to fight bacteria and viruses every single day. And we do that, but because of what's happening within our world, which is a much deeper conversation, we're finding that many people suffer from poor gut health. And that is where our immune system begins. So one thing is we need to be really exploring our gut health, but when we get sick, there are things that we can choose to recover very fast. And I'm just so excited to share this with you because it's so simple. So the first thing I'm going to share, so my uh, symptoms, I had achiness, chills, fe slight fever, and just fatigue. And then it turned into a sore throat. Uh, and within 12 hours, I was feeling 85% better. And then I said, I'm going to rest this next day. Uh, it was 12 hours later and I felt better. And I was, I was like, I'm just going to, you know, take it easy today. But I stopped those steps that I'm going to share with you again. So I regressed a little bit. My sore throat got worse. So I, I think looking hindsight, if I continue to that, to support your body, remember, even though you're feeling better, you want to continue even for the next few days. And then you can back off on the amount of applications that you're doing, but still do those things to support your immune system, at least for the next two weeks. I hate to use the analogy of antibiotics, but a lot of us understand this analogy. Do you know when you have a round of antibiotics, you start taking it and within a day or two, you start feeling better, but they said, do not stop that antibiotic. Uh, you need to take the full 10 days. Well, I want you to think of the same thing when you're using natural solutions, you're supporting your immune system. So if you do not have these products, please get them in your home. Don't wait until you're sick because when I fell ill and did not feel well, I just went to my medicine cabinet in my kitchen and brought all these things out. But to order these things, I wouldn't have been able to use them. Uh, so this is where we have to be proactive and ordering these things, knowing that this may be in your assessment. Remember my triple A acronym, the first A is awareness. So right now in this video, I'm giving you some awareness on the things that you can do to support your body. Number two, the second A is assessment. So this is individual and that's what your job is. Your job is to take this information I give you and to assess how and which ones you can implement. And even if you want to, you may, this may not be in your wheelhouse right now. It may not be in your bandwidth that you can do this right now. Maybe you hit pause or save this video and come back to it. So everyone's going to have a different assessment. And then the last A is action. We take those action steps, do it now. It's not going to take long at all. So this was recommended to me during the pandemic. I follow the FLCCC, which is um, the group of doctors that have really come very far with um, the COVID, uh, just whole pandemic and how they treat early COVID. And their protocol actually has been adopted, part of it, for every virus. So when you're fighting a virus, these are the things you want to consider. Excuse my dog, someone must be, must be at the door. Okay, so this is this nasal iodine solution. This is a disinfectant for your nose. So you would do this as, and this is already diluted. You should have seen us uh, during COVID, we were making our own. Uh, but now there's this amazing uh, brand that you can find on my Amazon store on my website. And you can purchase this from Amazon and just have it in your medicine cabinet. The other component when, you, when you're feeling under the weather, no matter what your symptom, is mouthwash. So most viruses replicate in the nasopharynx. So if we don't disinfect that area with natural solutions, then what's going to happen? That virus replicates. So if we can address it at its root source, it won't 
affect us. We won't have as much lingering symptoms, but we need to do this every two to three hours. If you don't have on guard mouthwash, this is from doTERRA, you can get Listerine, um, which is also effective in under the FLCCC protocol. So these two things are in my medicine cabinet. I mean, I use this every day, but I now are using this every two to three hours. The next thing I took every two to three hours is on guard protective uh, blend soft gels. This has the on guard blend, which is wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary, but it adds in the really potent antibacterial and antiviral oils of uh, lemon balm, oregano, and black pepper. Yes. So this is my go-to. When I'm feeling under the weather, I pop this every, just one soft gel, every two to three hours. And this is what I stopped. I did take it the morning I was feeling better, but then I didn't take it for hours later. And that started, um, I started to feel run down again. So I did start taking this again. And at night I was taking two Copaiba soft gels. This is kind of like extra. Uh, this works on your endocannabinoid system. And I took this because of the sore throat. So again, this is all natural. This comes from the copaiba tree and works similarly to CBD oil. Um, it works directly on what we call the CB2 receptors that really can help with pain. So all those aches and pains that you might get, instead of choosing um, a synthetic option, you can use copaiba soft gels. Uh, and then the last thing I used was my on guard roller. I mean, this is so simple guys with my, this one's particularly for my sore throat. And I just rolled it along my neck and rubbed it in. This is pre-diluted. So when you get the touch rollers, it's pre-diluted and can be applied right to the skin. You can use this on kids. It's safe for kids. I usually would say around five and up. Um, if you have kids younger than five, you can get the stronger blend, which is the kids version of on guard. And it has less tingly oils, uh, but still is for the immune system. So that's it guys. That's what I used every two to three hours. Um, and then of course my hydration rest, I slept for 16 hours straight. We can't be using these and then going about our regular day. We really need to make priorities. And if you can't do it, bring these items with you. Um, of course, that's part of your assessment. My assessment was that it was a Friday evening, so I could rest into Saturday uh, without having any um, commitments. So I feel very grateful for that. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is I do up my dosages of the immune supplements, which are vitamin D, vitamin C, and zinc. So if you're not already taking those, I highly recommend that you get a good bioavailable form. I specifically right now, I'm using Dr. Mercola's liposomal vitamin C and Seeking Health, which is Dr. Ben Lynch's supplement line for the zinc lozenge and vitamin D. And they're inexpensive guys. Like I really encourage my patients to look at these levels, ask your doctors to add a vitamin D, um, a blood test to see where your vitamin D levels are at and try to get them up between 50 to 80 is the functional medicine guidelines. We don't want to be down at 30. I looked at my old blood work when I was trying to get pregnant and I was in the twenties. Vitamin D is critical for so many immune functions. So that's my number one thing. If you don't know any of your blood work, look for vitamin D first, and you can always be taking a supplement to boost your immune system. So remember, don't do what I did. Keep doing the protocol until you feel better for at least a day or two, and then you can back off. Maybe you do those same things every morning and every night, because now you're getting back into work. You're getting back into your daily regimen. So I hope this helps. I hope that you fill your, um, your cabinet with amazing natural solutions and reach out to me or visit my website if you have any questions.